Domestic violence is something we really don't like to talk about. But domestic violence is one of our most serious chronic social problems. It seems like every day in the news we hear about some professional athlete or about a powerful public official who has assaulted their intimate partner. But we also know that domestic violence happens behind the doors of too many of the homes in our own neighborhoods. Hi, I'm Representative Roger Goodman of the 45th Legislative District. And in this Good Minute, we'll talk about some of the progress we've made in reducing domestic violence and the work still needed to be done. For more than a decade in the legislature, I've worked hard to prevent and reduce the harm from domestic violence. As chair of the Public Safety Committee, I've collaborated with prosecutors, law enforcement, judges, treatment programs, and victims and their advocates to pass many pieces of legislation to improve our response to domestic violence. In 2010, I passed House Bill 2777, the most comprehensive revision of our domestic violence laws in more than 30 years. We found that too many times victims, most often women, found themselves arrested and jailed, having been accused by their longtime abusers, the so-called victim-defendant problem. So we changed the way police respond at the scene of a domestic violence call and gave judges and prosecutors a lot more information to know who's actually the perpetrator and who's actually the victim so we could hold the real abuser accountable. That bill also made improvements to treatment programs for domestic violence offenders. Many other of my domestic violence related bills have been enacted over the years, including a bill to increase the penalties for intimidating witnesses, which abusers often try to prevent testimony at trial. A bill to raise the penalty for suffocation, which along with strangulation, is too often a means by which abusers use to attack their victims another bill to strengthen our state's anti-harassment laws. And in 2012, I passed a major bill, House Bill 2363, which ensured the confidentiality of certain information, including the location of safe houses where victims flee with their children, and also where victims change their names to hide their identities. That bill also increased the penalties for violating domestic violence no contact orders. One of my major accomplishments on domestic violence and in my legislative career occurred in 2014, when I successfully worked to get firearms out of the hands of domestic abusers. Too many abusers were violating protection orders and coming after their spouses or partners with guns, injuring them and killing them. After many years of work, we passed House Bill 1840, which required the removal of firearms from domestic violence offenders with protection orders and criminal no contact orders against them. That bill has literally saved lives. Last year, we passed another bill aimed at repeat domestic violence offenders who subject their victims to cycles of abuse. I sponsored a bill to crack down on repeat offenders and hold them accountable through harsher penalties and stricter supervision. It also made it easier for courts to order these repeat offenders to be held in custody prior to trial to prevent them from doing even more harm to their victims. Despite the successes of these measures, we can still always do more for victims and their families. This year, I've sponsored another measure, House Bill 2457, which has passed the House and is now being considered in the Senate. Current law is not clear that no contact orders may stay in effect even after a domestic abuser is released from prison or jail. Often the most dangerous time for a vulnerable domestic violence victim is the moment after her abuser is released from confinement. My bill fixes that confusion to ensure that no contact orders stay in place long after the abuser gets out of jail, helping to keep the victim safe. Reducing the harm from domestic violence will continue to be my top priority in the legislature. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and look for more Good Minutes coming soon.